Um, I, I thought Zub's on his out of bounds defense. Then he adjusted, you know, altered the shot, and then got the rebound. It was uh, so fitting for Zubek, for Brian to do that, because he he really elevated our our team over these last six weeks, seven weeks, to where we would have a chance to play and win a national championship. It's just it's still hard for me; to, it hasn't sunk in that we're national champs. Uh, I love I love these guys and. You all ask them as many questions as you want because they'll answer them a lot better than I will. Yeah. Let's go with questions for the student athletes, and we'll start on the on the aisle on the left side. Uh, Brian Ken Titions with the Charlotte Observer uh, was was wondering if uh, uh, you could just talk about uh, the the defense and rebounding today, and uh, also your contributions to it, and uh, uh, a satisfying end to to what's had to be uh, uh, you, you know what's been a, a up and down career. It's, you know, I, I, please don't, his, he hasn't had an up and down career. He's had, a, he's had a great career where he's had two broken, he's had a foot broken twice. So he's had an injury marred career. Not, it hasn't been up and down. First of all, he can't go up and down. <laughs> he can't jump. Thanks, Coach. So it couldn't be an up and down year. All right, Brian. No, I can, um, you, you, you're never going to play for me again. So <laughs> I cannot, uh, that means I can say something? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'll still get back at you. <laughs> I know that. Uh, to answer your question, um, there was two plays right before I got that uh, defensive rebound at the end where I, I could have gotten an offensive rebound and a defensive rebound. I think Howard got both of them. And, uh, I mean, those could have been two plays that I saw uh, that could have really affected the game. And uh, I knew that me getting a rebound would be, it would be a huge play. And uh, um, I, I, we, I think we outrebounded him, rebounded him by about two um, total. So I mean, we really stepped it up in the second half. Front row here on the right. Uh, Kyle, uh, you shot really well here this weekend, coming off a pretty bad shooting performance down in Houston. Uh, both both the domes, I think. What's what was the big difference here the past couple nights? Um, nothing really. Uh, just that you know the ball went in. You know, in these last two games, but it really wasn't about me shooting the ball. Um, you know, it's about the team, and we needed everyone. You know, in, in these last two games to get where we are right now, and um, so it was just, uh, you know, a great thing. On the aisle, on the right side, uh, Jim Letke, the Associated Press. Uh, Brian, we, did you miss that second one on purpose? Uh, yep. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that uh, it was just uh, um, they, if we got a long rebound and I, I bodied up um, um, Hayward, and by the time Hayward put the, uh, the ball on the ground, it was like 1.2, 1.8 seconds left, and they got off a, a bad shot or not a good one, and it almost went in. So probably should have made that one though. That was, I take it that was planned. I'm sorry, what? You you weren't freelancing on that, right? You were. Yeah, I was not freelancing on that one. No, he did everything what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Left side. Rebound. Left side on third row. Uh, Stuart Mandel from Sports Illustrated for Brian. Um, just could you just speak to um, I mean, what does it mean to you to hear your coach say just now that you were the guy who elevated the team, you know, to get to this position? Uh, I mean, it, it means a lot to me. Um, I think that uh, I mean, um, I did elevate my game um, and it was probably noticeable because uh, compared to how I played before. And uh, I mean, all, all the guys on this team uh, had to elevate their game to another level uh, to win this thing. And every, somebody new stepped up every single night. And I mean, I mean, that's how great this team is that uh, we can have somebody win it for us uh, that's new every single night. Right side, we've got a couple of questions here. Is it me now? Uh, I wanted to ask the seniors just to talk about ending your journey here after, you know, starting with. What, for, what you said earlier this week was was not a great season, only only 22 wins. Can you just talk about ending it in this place this time? John? Um, well, for us, I don't think many people can say they went out winning national championships. So um, it means a lot to us, especially I don't think any of us could have predicted the four years we had here. And uh, to finish it like this means a lot, especially going through it 
with these guys every day? Lance? Um, it means the world to us, especially our senior class. Um, to come in and get knocked out of this tournament in our first game um, and to have to, you know, live with that for the rest of our lives and, you know, for the years of the, you know, the extra years after our freshman year, our sophomore and junior year, um, just not getting as much success as we want and to, to leave champions, you know, to have our last game, you know, leaving a national championship. I mean, it's, it's tough to put words into. We, we maxed out our season. We, we maxed out all our practices. We got all the practices we had to do this year. We played in every game that this season had to offer us. And to, to seal the deal at the end, uh, I'm, I'm really lost words on it. Brian? Sorry, can you repeat the question? <laughs> can you just talk about ending the journey after the way it started uh, on this stage? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's been an <laughs> absolute progression. Uh, you can see the difference every single year. Um, He's got that uh, <laughs> and uh, to end it like this, as Lance said, it's undescribable. Um, I mean, I, I don't think our seniors could have predicted this anywhere near the, uh, this kind of success um, through our career just based on uh, how our freshman year went. Uh, and uh, I mean, it, it just proves that if you keep, you keep with it and you keep, keep your head down and, and keep, keep working at it, I mean, good things will come if you put in the work. Got time for about three more right here. Third row, Pat. Kyle, you, uh, you got just crushed on a screen on that last play there, and you went down to the floor. And I'm wondering, uh, you know, did you even see the last shot? And then when you saw it come off the rim, what your thoughts were? Yeah, uh, when I got sc uh, screened, um, you know, I kind of twisted the right way to see the ball. So, you know, I saw, you know, the ball bounce off the uh, backboard and hit the rim. Um, you know, it looked good, you know, the ball. Um, it was just one of those things where you, you're wishing, or hoping that it, it won't go in. And when I saw it bounce off the rim um, and, you know, the team came together, it was just a special moment. Two more, far right side. A uh, question for John, sort of following up on that. I'm sorry, Bob Ford, Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, this is such a random game sometimes. I mean, a shot here, uh, the way a ball bounces. As that ball's in the air, you know you're going to have to accept the outcome, whatever that shot did. Can you kind of put into words what you think the feeling might be in that other room for the way that shot ended up? Well, um, you know, by playing that game, their team was so tough. And I think, um, you know, I can only imagine how they're feeling, especially to end the game like that. I mean, those guys. It was the toughest game we played all year. And, uh, you know, I can't imagine what those guys are feeling like. They gave everything they had just like we did. And so, uh, you know, it's hard that one of these teams had to feel that way. You know, so, um, you know, I'm sure it's tough in that locker room. One more question for the student athletes here on the left. Brian, Brian you spoke a lot the other day about having to spend so much time on crutches. I'm wondering if you anticipated a, a chance like tonight, for, for real. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really hard to imagine uh, being in this position when uh, I mean, you spend two summers on crutches. And uh, I mean, uh, people around me just kept telling me, just, get, just keep going at it and keep fighting. And uh, uh, it's hard to believe them sometimes that the, the, the good things are actually going to happen. And uh, I mean, it's an unbelievable feeling that uh, um, you can see the product of, uh, of the hard work I put in and the hard work this team put in. And uh, I mean, it's just a, it's just a f good story. OK, gentlemen, thank you very much. Congratulations. You can go back to the locker room. Let's continue with Coach Krzyzewski. Brett, first. Brett Friedlander, Wilmington State.